Hello, in this video I'm gonna tell you what to do if you've forgotten your lock screen password on Samsung Galaxy Tab S11 Ultra. Okay, so I'm gonna lock the tablet and uh, now you can see there is the screen lock and after multiple failed attempts we'll see what happens. Now it says I need to try again in 30 seconds, so I'll do it. Yeah, so after doing it for the second time, it happens again, so we probably don't have any option here to just enter the Google um, account like it was in the past on devices. But here it, it's not available, so we can um, do three different things. We can perform a factory reset via recovery mode, but remember, it'll cause data loss it'll erase all the data and you'll still need to know your Google account credentials because without your Google account credentials um, <clears throat> you actually will not be able to continue with the setup after the device was reset then also um, as I said your data will be erased so if you don't have it backed up then it will be lost um, you can also contact brand support uh, for account recovery options so you can just contact uh, Samsung support or visit an authorized service center with a proof of ownership like pr proof of purchase uh, like a receipt or something and um, it they may help you but it's not guaranteed <clears throat> The method that always works is <clears throat> is performing the factory reset via recovery mode um, but um, other than that it is not possible. Now you can see if I try unlocking again and again it just locks it for a longer time it doesn't it doesn't do anything other than that so we'll need to do the factory reset. I'll show you how to do the factory reset. So first you'll need to connect your device to a computer with a cable. Mm, make sure that the cable that you're using supports data transfer because not all cables are built the same and some cables just don't support data transfer and you don't need to transfer data. It just needs to recognize your device um as a computer and you don't need to use that computer it can be windows it can be linux it can be Ma mac os it doesn't matter it just has to be a computer that you need to plug your tablet into so it recognizes it is plugged into a computer and it's just for protection that you don't do it accidentally because you probably uh, don't have your tablet in a backpack when it's connected to a computer so you know you don't press on something accidentally now um, there's gonna be a complicated series of uh, steps uh, so uh, try to follow them um, as much as you can and don't worry if you fail the first time because it is complicated especially if you're doing it the first time in your life so um, I'll show you the buttons a bit more here and you can see them uh, there is the power button volume down and volume up now we'll need to First, start pressing and holding on power and volume down and a power off menu will show up, but I'll show you something. When I click on power off, it requires me to enter my screen lock, so I'm not able to do it. So instead, we'll need to press and hold power and volume down until the screen goes fully off. When it goes off, immediately move your finger from volume down to volume up while still pressing the power button. And then when Samsung logo appears, release power button while still pressing volume up. So I'll try to do it with you now. Power and volume down. Okay, it didn't go through. Let's go again. Power and volume down. Uh, the power menu will appear, but as I said, keep on pressing until the screen goes off. Then move your finger quickly to volume up when the screen goes off and keep pressing power button. Then when Samsung logo appears release power button and keep pressing volume up until you get to recovery screen. 
Now you can see we have the Android recovery. Now you should navigate through the menu using volume buttons. So to go down use the volume down and you should go to wipe data factory reset then click on the power button to approve it. Now go down again to factory data reset and click on power button. Remember that all data will be erased and that mm, <clears throat> that your mm, account that your Google account will be asked uh, asked anyway. So uh, like yeah, let's go to factory data reset and let's go reboot to reboot system now with the power button of course and um, of course, uh, resetting the um, Google account password is a bit easier. So if you don't know your Google account password, then you can reset it by going to Google website. Um, although uh, I think it's just worth remembering your Google account password, just like it is worth remembering your um, your tablet's screen lock. But yeah, let's wait until it powers on. It's gonna take a moment because you know it's after a reset but now we should have the screen on yeah and now uh, it displays this little lock in the top left corner which indicates that the tablet was reset I'm just gonna go through a few little steps of the setup not through the whole setup but I'll select the um, language and the region and then click on restart let's wait a moment Okay, the tablet is restarting and now we'll be asked about uh, Wi-Fi and uh, we need to connect to Wi-Fi and after we do that it'll tell us that the device had um, an unauthorized, uh, unauthorized attempt of resetting it. So you can see I need to agree to all, click on next, set up manually, click on OK and now enter your Wi-Fi password click on connect <clears throat> click on next and now let's wait a moment it may take a moment so I'll get back to you shortly okay and this is what shows up let's select use my Google account instead and then enter uh, the Google account that was previously signed in click on next and enter the password of that account. And now I have signed in uh, just to like erase it. Now I can sign into a new Google account to the same Google account or skip or create an account or whatever. I'm gonna skip it now, but feel free to sign in. Then I'm gonna click on done copy and the rest of the setup is in front of me. So, um, so yeah, this is basically what you have here. And I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.